Bam! I'm first. <laughs> oh God! All right, guys, I'm plugging away at this. I got my Air Force on. Got the tail numbers. Got the uh, USAF on the top of one wing and the top of another. Uh oh. <laughs> no. I got it right, I think. I got me a good nap and flew in today. It was windy, it was hot, bad day for painting. So I said to myself, Self, why don't we go take us a big old nappy poo? We can't have to do some painting tonight. He's painting, baby. Bam. Did I tell you guys dad was here this morning? Dad came over? Yeah, he came over and visited with me and brought me another pile of landing gear. See in that box, there's four more sets. I still got some down there. Oh, yeah, we got landing gear, people. Just saying, I could, this could be yours. I could be building someone one just like that this winter. <laughs> I still got a few unspoken for kids. I tell all your buddies, Bob and Jason will hook you up. But I kind of had to do a lot of ciphering today. You know, it's the pictures we got. This stuff just barely fits in here, man. Between the blue and the red, white, and blue tips. So I had to get all this figured out, all my tip stuff, and get the star and bar located on the other side. So I did do something today. Reshot this blue. Got off a bunch of the glue from these stickers. I just got I gotta go over this whole airplane now, guys. That's what I'm gonna do tomorrow. I ain't gonna rush it. I'm not gonna rush it. Uh see now the white. I got the other one taped off. I don't have this one taped off yet. But um uh, see that gets a white border, that gets white, white stripe there. It just ends up there. Don't go all the way up. You see, Jason, I I left that silver strip on that end of that duck down there. See? It? I like that. I think that looks cool. I think that looks cool. But them U.S. Air Force, I don't know how Jason got all this stuff so perfect. I mean, it all just fits. Because if you look at them pictures, that just barely fits in there. And then that came out right. And... This came out right. That was just kind of luck, I guess. <laughs> Rather be lucky than good any day, baby. No. Ah, uh, did you see that Ollie Folly got him a first view, man? <laughs> I, I know. I know when you guys click on that and it says zero words, man. You guys just get to shake it. <gasps> and you, you, you're, you're so scared someone else is going to hit that inner button before you. <laughs> <laughs> I know, man. Some of them guys are good at it. That old Bill, man. <laughs> but yeah, I gotta take that. Stuff up. Someone else uh, recommended something else. Oh, Ronson lighter fluid. That's uh, that's too harsh for this paint. Until it's cleared, guys. This base coat, clear coat, is uh, it's pretty fragile. 
you know, anything that's too hot will melt it, you know. I don't think I'd do the wrongs and water fluid on it. You can't use that goof off either. Goo, now the other stuff I got, you can't. all came out really good all of it all of it no bleeding really any at all no bleeding not even on the rivets man who I'm getting good at this that nice clean even down there on the rivets on the panel lines and this is the top of that wing man it looks good the wings look good Ollie oh all this came out really good all of it you gotta rub that stuff in them that that decal or the paint mask you really got to rub it in I didn't have no black urethane so this is epoxy which is fine you just couldn't use like enamel anything that you can shoot urethane clear over I can use you know just like the two brands you know that's PPG silver and and DuPont blue you know that's all fine anything that you can shoot urethane clear on I can use I can use that epoxy I could use urethane no enamel no lacquer you know but that's fine okay I gotta let that dry for a little bit before I can flip them wings over and uh, I'm gonna do the stars and bars I know what I'll do I'll tape this off I got a couple I gotta take this See, I scooted this nose forward because uh, actually the blue in all the pictures comes up to about here. But that left this red, man, just way too long and it looked funny. I just did not like it. You know, so I decided to shorten the red up and that drew all that in. And so that red was supposed to start here and the paint white was good. White's a little thin there, so I'm going to tape this off, reshoot that white. Uh, any of this white that needs touched up, I want to uh, tape off. There ain't much of it. Then I can get this white, the stars on the wings, bars, and get all my white done next. i got to clean out my gun because I've had black in it. <laughs> so i got to clean out that gun real good. But, uh... This all came out real good, Ollie. With the, it's just like that on the other side, just like that. I mean, I'm just shocked on how all this stuff is working out. Oh, uh, your smoke pump got here today, my buddy. <laughs> I like these big old tubes. This thing's gonna pump out some oil, man. These are huge tubes. I've never seen huge tubes that big. This thing's gonna pump out some oil. And we got it to pump it out. We can crank it up, man, and and it'll put out a smoke trail like you guys won't believe. Bang! <laughs> this is gonna be awesome, awesome, awesome. But uh, this Tam Jet smoke set up. This is Tam Jets. One goes into a, uh, a receiver. Another one goes into a battery. But you're supposed to wire it off of a your turbine battery, but we got 12 volts. So uh, here's here's our dilemma. We either got to put a uh, res uh, regulator on it. Cause I don't want to pump 12 volts to it. It says you can put 7.4. I don't know, Ollie. You might ask. Email Tam. Would you do that? Email Tam. It's 
see if it's okay to run 12 volts because we got a 12 volt turbine battery if not if we have to use a separate battery oh we got Batman Batman to the rescue do, do, do. need to get me a bat light I can sign up <laughs> <laughs> we need you Batman uh, we could probably put a, just a separate battery if you don't want to run a regulator but if you got a, a regulator at your hobby shop Ollie you can just bring it with you and then we can just wire it off the turbine battery so uh, leave us a message and if, if, we, if you want to run another battery we'll, we'll, we'll do that too Don't matter, I just don't want to hit that pump with 12 volts unless Tam says it's okay because we got lots of oil to burn, baby. I don't want to land with half tank smoke oil <laughs> and no gas left. So, and we got a half a gallon of it. So, uh, also, Ollie, we need to get some smoke oil because uh, I do not have any. And uh, you're not even supposed to run them pumps, so I ain't even going to hook it up. I'll, I'll install it all, but I'll, I'll, I can't plug it in. Got no smoke wool because you got to prime it you prime it when you fill it up so you don't run that pump dry and um, I think that's all I got for you but uh, I'm gonna be working late I'm gonna let these dry for a little bit I might clean this mess up a little bit and because um, I got to yeah, it's pretty dry. That's it for another hour. That pox takes a little bit longer than this your thing. But uh, I'm going to get this place cleaned up a little bit and get geared up and uh, get that nose taped off. And I got stuff I can do for a while. But uh, let me know what you think on the regulator situation, Ollie, or another battery. Don't matter to me. Um, we're just getting a plan. Um, Email Tam. See if we can run 12 volts. Or...